Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And where we are is we're in Port Roche, which of course is a seaside resort and probably the best known resort in Northern Ireland. And we're actually outside the uh, Town Hall, Port Roche Town Hall. So I'm going to take you inside, but before I do, I'm going to let you see in this room here. So that's inside, as you can see. So there you are. So uh, the town hall was, well, at least the building was built in 1872. And it's still standing today. Now you can see Port Rouse Town Hall. So this is us in the foyer then. How you doing? How are you? Hello. So it's uh, it's uh, quite an impressive building, isn't it? Absolutely. So there you go. Definitely is, there's no doubt about it. But the reason why we're here is because of the American connection. And so where we're heading now is to the war memorial. Because there's a memorial at the war memorial <laughs> to the 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment who were billeted here during the Second World War. So this is the war memorial here, as you can see. To the men of Port Rush. There's 1939 to 1945. But this is It says, dedicated to the men of this 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment, 82nd Airborne Division, United States Army, stationed in Port Rouge, 7th of December 1943 to 11th of March 1944. And it says, World War II Combat Campaigns, Normandy, Belgium, Germany. So there you go. And they were actually billeted all round here. So in December 1943, 2,000 American soldiers from the 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment arrived here in Port Rush. And as I say, they were billeted in every available guest house, hotel, and public hall, and possibly were even billeted in the town hall where we were. And uh, they're actually fondly remembered for organizing a huge children's party that Christmas and Boris Amusements and of course Boris Amusements was established in 1926 and uh, it was also a skating rink at one time as well and so I'm going to take you down there now now it's still an amusement today but Boris was not there was a new owner And this is Boris Amusements here. Well, at least what was Boris Amusements. It's now under new ownership. And you can see the big wheel. And the entire 507th left Port Rush quietly by train overnight on the 11th of March 1944 to prepare for D Day. And the Normandy. Landings actually took place on the 6th of June and uh, the sad news reached Port Rush that over 300 of the young men of the 507th had been killed. But this is where they had a, a children's party, Christmas party, for the children of Port Rush. So fantastic. And as I say, it used to be Barry's Amusements. 
but it's under new ownership now so I'll, I'll take in and let you see inside you can see it's still in amusements today so there you go so that's Barry's amusements and that's where the 507th parachute regiment had the children's party the Christmas party before they headed to Normandy so thanks for watching and God bless